let it sit. Got the removing that thing. Let's go. PT McGee, thank you for the follow. Uh, Griku, thank you as well. The Man, thank you. Delta, Phoenix, Alley Tune, Church. Thank you, thank you, thank yous. Excuse me. All right, let's do this. Let's decimate Team Star. You've been abandoned. I'm so sorry, Scrooge. We're back now. We're back now. You're safe. You're safe. Spicy. Yeah, there's soda water. Spicy water, you know? Spicy texture. Humbucks, thank you as well for the follow. Okay, defeat 30. Let's go. Easy, right? Easy. She says. Go, little champions. Go, Claude. I forgot the Gallade was a thing here. Not Gallade. Um, yeah, Gallade. My bad. Oh no, Brulum. I'm so sorry. I love you. Boom. At what point in the... So, like... I know very little about the Paradox Pokemon. Um, except for the fact that there there are some. At what point-ish in the game, like besides the big, um, the big Oliphant that we already got, at what point do those kind of pop up? Is that more following the, the end of the, um... following the end of the herb storyline or I need to just heal up quickly post credits okay and are they just like in the wild or is it kind of like a um a special like go into the the volcanic pit sort of vibes oh, okay after the 8-4 okay okay do they like mention it any time before that? Like I know someone was saying, I need to go back and do the history. We did the history lesson, didn't we? And it's like uh, those those chains are holding something. But like, do they actually ever mention it really in the game, or is it more like in the post game it gets mentioned specifically? Because I feel like they haven't really talked about it. Like don't don't I guess don't like spoil it hardcore. Like I'm happy to know that it's after after the main Elite Four. There's story for it. Oh, okay, so cool, 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 cool. Cause like I feel like it's just like I didn't know that that was even a thing. Like purchased this game, assumed that the the you know, cool Don fans were just like a version exclusive evolution. Not like a whole new mechanic sort of thing, I guess. So I'm glad that there is uh, I guess some story. Final story before. Okay, cool. Sick. Thank you, guys. Doesn't matter who you are, or bury anyone who tries to take down Team Star. This time, I won't run away. Ra. Oh, really, Silver? Oh, dear. Wish me luck. Wish me luck. Nice sleeves. All right. All right. Let's go, Tink. You shouldn't be in the lead, probably, but we're gonna. Oh dear. Okay. Wish me luck. Level 55. Yeah, I'm a little bit. I'm a little bit under. Ah, uh, wait. Toxic Croak. I always. Hold on. I always get Toxic Croak wrong because I'm so used to battling it in. Um in Pokemon Go and it always has Mud Bomb. So I'm always like, oh yeah, ground. I'm like, it's not ground. Poison fighting. Okay, poison fighting. And I'm always like, yeah, poison ground. And I'm like, no. Okay. Um, well, I've got like nothing that's going to be that. 
Let's go with whatever is the highest hitter. Ooh. Poor little Tink's gonna get no XP from this fight. I could have swapped, but I'm not gonna. But I'm not gonna. <laughs> Fighting would really hurt the Clod, but if I can slam an Earthquake. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Come on, you can do it, champion. Yes, beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, no, the Ultra Beasts haven't changed uh, region, Jag. You can just get them through the special research at the moment. There's a timed research. For like Sunday only. Um, uh, annihilate. What did we determine? An IAP was ghost fighting, right? Hey, welcome home, True. How was the event? How was it? How'd you go? Ghost fight. Dude, that's such a weird type. Is there anything else that's ghost fighting? Hmm. Oh, Marsha. True, Marsha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got to meet Yuri. Nice. Yuri's so lovely. Yuri's amazing. See, because my, my giraffe rig's not... I'm just going to keep in... I'm gonna keep in the clod. <laughs> It'd be weak to Tink with the fairy move, so I might try to revive Tink, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lose sleep over it. You have the California encounter and catch tag on Ultra Beast. Is that because you caught all of the timed research ones that were all available on Sunday? And or because you were standing in California when you caught them, so therefore of course they're gonna say that they were caught where you caught them? Ah, yeah. uh, let's just slap another earthquake, I guess, and see if we can if we're gonna be too slow against this thing. Yeah, so if you if you if you raided if you're from California and you have a seller stealer, you would have had to have done a remote raid for it. If you didn't catch the timed research one. Full stop. You would have Kartana and you would have to have uh, remote raided for seller stealer. Ah, oh, dude, that thing's so chunky. Annihilate Doobie. Doobie thick. Okay, let's see. Um, I don't have any psychics, and this is going to be weak to if he uses. Oh my god. Might have to do a little bit of leveling up. Oh yeah, they've been available outside of GoFest. Yeah. That's correct. I don't know what the what I don't know what conversation is happening here. I thought someone was saying that they were available like worldwide, as in like available in, in whatever region. What are we discussing here? <laughs> yes, they've been available outside of GoFest. Absolutely, it's been like the raid bosses for the last bloody month have all been the freaking ultra beasts. Like Guzzlord won't go away. 
XP, true, I could use some XP candy. That is great. That is a good idea. Uh, Persimian, we'll just leave the Sprig in for now. Right. No, yes, you are. You are correct, Jag. Sorry, I thought you were saying that they were available, like, globally, as in out of region. Yeah, they've been available outside of GoFest. Absolutely. They were all out at GoFest for the same time sort of thing. Like, all, you know, 90% of them were or whatever. Um, and then Global GoFest, like, part two happened and they were, you know, on. And then Kartana and Celesteela were after that. And then Guzzlord's been recent. But yeah, it's been available outside of, um, it's been available outside of, uh, GoFest for sure. Oh, gosh. Okay. Um, I presume it's what, psych is pure psychic or psychic grass? Uh, it's gonna hurt. Oh, God, it's gonna hurt. Good God. Lots of your community. Yeah, I, honestly, I'm not surprised because like a lot of them, a lot of them being available through like remote raids and things like that doesn't make it super accessible for a lot of people. Um, so I'm not surprised that a lot of people don't have like pure fighting. Oh my God, what am I on? Oh, this is going to hurt. I've got the worst, I brought in the worst possible Pokemon. Like everything is weak to fighting. What did I do this for? Oh. Uh, what did I do this for? Um, should I revive? Do I just try my little darn dust? Try my hardest. Let's see if we can poison this thing. You killed my car! I think this is, I think this is a redo. This is a redo. Oh, tr oh my god, I thought it was the psychic base, Jesus. It is too early. No, it was the bring psychics to this base base because it's fighting boys. Good god. Good god. Well. That's a reset. <laughs> that's a reset. It's opposite day. Yeah, guys, it's opposite day. Didn't you know? Okay. Um, let us... Uh, let us leave. No, uh, let me... Chuck the car in the box. We've evolved it. That was kind of all, the only reason we were walking around with it anyway was to evolve it for the shiny. Yo, Dunsparce, main team. Um, who do we want? We probably need the Skell. Uh, really need to level up the Tink and the Giraffe a little bit more. Ground fighting. Who else is psychic? I don't really have any psychics. Arcti's gonna get wrecked, but I want it to get more XP. Hmm, what are we thinking? What are we thinking? Monday Mulligan. <laughs> Yo, I love, welcome in. How are we doing? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, kicking stuff over. Um, what else are fighting week to fairy psychic fly flying? I don't have any flying lads. Hmm. Can you guys get psychic moves? Can Dunsparce learn psychics? <laughs> uh, Shinies have got three at the moment. 
Rufflet just ran into the back of my head, full odds, just out and about. Uh, Rever uh, Varun we got from an outbreak, and Maril was traded. True fairy. Oh, true fairy. I think doesn't Doberman's final get fairy moves? Yeah. Let's um. Let's just like pump these guys full of candies and see how we go. What's up, Anne? How we doing? How we doing? You guys ready to get swole? I'm in the wrong pocket. No, I'm not. Okay, let's get rid of these. Uh, level 42. Level 43. Flatter. Yeah, I want to squish them with my hammer and make them flatter. Uh, confuse the targets. Also boosts the targets' attack. No, I don't like giving my enemy an advantage ever. That does not sound like a good idea. Level 30 for the giraffe. Double hit. Sure. Oh, congrats on the shiny wormy! Let's go! That's so good! Congrats, Cuddy! Shiny weem! Uh, oh, the ice dino is close as well. I know it's not going to be good for this fight, but... Baton pass. I don't really like baton... Oh, I mean, actually, it's kind of might be helpful in this thing, to be honest. Get rid of tackle, yeah. Raw. Can we use raw in these battles? With the Team Star stuff? Kind of funny. It's gonna evolve, isn't it? Are we ready? Are we ready? Are we ready? Kelsey, thank you for the follow and Dina as well, thank you. These little buns. Dachspoon. The name's growing on me. You just really have to say it with the accent. Oh, my tummy is a rumbling. The present the pleasant aroma that emanates from this Pokemon's body helps wheat grow. So Dachspoon has been treasured by farming villagers. Aw. Another squishy body. Uh, uh. Okay. Oh, no, I meant to give it like 12 of them. Twin beams, yes. That sounds like a good thing. Get beamed. You can do it, Mark. I believe in you. Brute force. Brute force. <gasps> it's happening. It's happening. Dude, it looks so fluffy. Like the textures for Drawfree looks like he's like would feel velvety. Look at him. The evolution you deserved. Okay. Question. Does is Farigraph's shiny the same as Giraffarig or is it different? If it's different, don't tell me the colour. But is it the same or different? Farigraph is flocked at here. He looks so velvety. Uh it just level 32, I believe it learns the move just on that level. So you have to make sure you give it the move as well. Uh, now that the brain waves from the head and tail are synced up, the psychic power of this Pokemon is 10 times stronger than Giraffe Riggs. Aww. He's a literal head ass. Good on you. Good on you, mate. Uh. 
try and level up the bun a bit more. Level 42. Double edge, no, I'll never use it. Charm, no, I'll never use it. Do we have any attacking fairy moves? Skitter smack. The Vorpal Blade. Uh, Skitter's behind the target to attack. Also lowers the target's sp attack. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Eh, but do I care? No. Uh, let's give the giraffe a couple as well. Crunch. Do we want crunch? Sure. Uh, SN, thank you for the follow as well. Baton pass, no. And we'll put the last one into this champion. <gasps> oh god, it's gonna happen. 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 Guys. The moment is here. I've been asking you guys if you if you think I'll like it. The consensus has been absolutely mixed some people saying hell yes some people saying hell no love the first stage little weird froggy dude second stage you know he's all right it's grown on me it's grown on me yeah welcome in raiders how we doing mcm designs thank you for the raid champion we're about to evolve this arctabax spoiler alert in case you guys haven't seen it I haven't seen it. I don't know what it turns into. I don't know what it looks like. And chat's been divided on whether or not I'll, I'll like it. So we're going to find out. We're going to find out. Welcome in, Raiders. How was your day? How was your stream? What were you guys up to? Were you also playing some pocket monsters? How was it? Exhausted, no worries, have a good rest, get some food, get some... Dude, what? 46 hour charity stream, let's go. That's some top tier effort right there, get some rest. Take care of yourself, I hope you had a nap in between that because that's intense. Get some rest champion. And good on you for raising money for charity. Absolute madman. Oh, for November. Yes, legend. Let's go. Great cause. For those not in the know, Mem Movember. Movember uh, in Australia, at least. Awesome charity. Men's health and mental health awareness and all that good stuff. Great charity. Much sleep. Okay, <laughs> that's good. Get some rest, legend. Thank you for the raid again. My lovelies, go make sure. Go support MCM. Good on ya. Good on, I'm gonna, well, we should add a mush, uh, mushroom, a moustache Pokemon to the team. <laughs> Improv, thank you for the follow. Bangle, thank you as well. And Rachel, thank you too. Let's evolve this champion. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. Speaking, thank you as well for the follow. Let's see if I like it. I've been betrayed by so many evolutions in this game. Backscalibur. And Pokemon blasts cryogenic air out from its mouth. Uh, this air can instantly freeze even hot liquid lava. Uh, I feel like the face is letting it down, kind of like me, but, um, I like the back plate. That's sick. It's missing something on the, like, on the head. It needs, like, a little horn or something. Like, it needs, like, something. Some, yeah. 
it just feels a bit half done to me. Like, I like that it's simple and it's not overly crazy. I like the little hand flaps, like the little hand feathers. But I feel like it's kind of missing something. The face is just a little bit... Yeah? Like, it's not bad, but... It's kind of a bit of a bit of nothing. Like, it can't be good and it can't be bad because it's literally nothing. Eh... That sounds like a stupid move. Use the throws its body, its entire body into a reckless charge. Attacks from the opposing Pokemon during the next turn cannot miss and will inflict double damage. That sounds like the worst idea. No. Huh. Be yeah, Bearjig with a sore on his- but yeah. It's a bit of an odd one. Okay, who was the first- who was the first thing in the... Uh... I think the first thing was weak to Earthquake, wasn't it? So we'll use these three as our leads. We'll try that. Huh. Yeah, you know what? I feel like first stage for that dude, cute froggy. Second stage was growing on me. It was very dino vibes. Like, not dino, but like dinosaur vibes. Oh god, don't step on the mushroom. Yeah, it's just a bit of a, bit of a, eh, you know. Eh. I'm going to save here and then if we fail, I'm going to restart. <laughs> Uh, transferring any Pokemon from Pokemon Go. Uh, there's, it's not compatible yet to do transfers to this game anyway. Oh yeah, Claude's site are perfect. Claude, perfect. You know? Zero complaints there. Oh yeah. True, Max. True. Yeah, if you do, if you do just like outspeed and decimate with that move, that's a good point. Yeah, it's almost almost Godzilla vibes, but not quite. For that that uh, ice sign. Hey, let's go, Custer. Congrats on doing Elite Four. Uh, Rainbow, thank you for the follow. Wood as well, thank you too. Okay. After this battle, I need a snack as well. Big snack attack. Okay, earthquake. All right, Aerie. You do you, boo. Oh, dang it, I thought it was gonna be like one shot. It's fine. That's fine. Fact, and you guys can pick. Okay. Oh, by the way, the Boxu ad got approved. So it was, I, I'm fine to eat all of the snacks. You know how we, we gambled and ate those chips without the um, the final ad being done? Haha. -ha. <laughs> it all got approved. So I can eat all the snacks. You guys can pick. I'll let you guys pick uh, what snack we're doing. What do we determine Annihilate was weak to? Uh, just Psychic, was it, or...? But it, like, decimates my Tinkertong. So... I think this is where I would put my Giraffe, my Farigaraf, yeah? Uh, Aspects, I already answered your question, my guy. I'm gonna need you to, I'm gonna need you to listen. Uh, I said it's not compatible with Go. Pokemon Go and this one, you can't transfer anything yet. You're good. No stress. No stress. 
Um, what do we determine this thing's weak to? Psychic, fa yeah, fairy, flying, ghost. Um. Oh, I forgot to give Doberman any of those moves. I forgot to give the Doberman actually any fairy moves from the TM machine. Whoopsies. Whoopsies. Oh, all right, let's see if we can just lick it to death. Big schlops. If this doesn't work out, we'll just put in the, um, put in the Farig. Come on, big schlop. Big schlop. Good girl. Let's just, uh, probably should use the, uh, probably should use the, uh, giraffe. Yep. Sorry, puppy. I am a l about 10 levels under leveled here as well, but we'll see if we can just kind of cheese it. Get twin beamed, my guy. How? Oh wait, it's half normal. Farigraph's half normal as well though. What's the point? What is, what is the point? Who did I use before? I just used Sprig, didn't I? I used to use Sprig and I used to use my crit move. Did I just choose Lunala or Solgaleo? I chose Cosmog. Chose Cosmog. Okay, now, I, now my my now my friggin' Farigaraf is fainted. <laughs> uh, we're gonna keep current, and I'm gonna revive the uh, revive. I know we got Tink. I could use Tink. I'm just gonna revive the giraffe, but it's half normal, so it's gonna be having issues with this gym anyway, with this star. Cosmog Squad. <laughs> uh, if I was gonna pick one though, I'd, it's hard to choose. I'd probably, probably pick Lunala. I like both. I feel like they're both, both to me, I like them both equally, so it'd be a hard choice. But I think if Alan was going to pick the kitty cat, I'd pick Lunala just so I could take photos of both. Best body Cosmog to Lunala. Oh. That's okay. You'll, you'll get another one, Mark. You'll get another one. You'll get another one. That's where I'm at as well. It's like I still trying to take AR photos and I'm like, I don't know which one I want to take photos of more, I guess. Yeah? Dude, why is close combat doing so much? Is it just the, the level difference at the moment here? This Persimian's a pest. Use a different move. Say beautiful. Yes, use seed bomb. Amazing. Big schlop. Oh, number- oh really? Solgaleo number six on, uh, the Master League. That's cool. It's good to have something a bit different in there. Bit of variety. Lucario. Let's keep, uh, the Tink in for now. Big Flop. Probably should have the skell, the skelly in here for this. Oof. Just, just little chips. Little chipping away. Thank you, Max. Appreciate it. Are we actually, do we lose anything on, on fainting in this? Oh, can Claude out? I don't think Claude can outspeed the Lucario. So what if we put in the backs, heal up the Claude, and see if we can get a cheeky earthquake off? 
We do lose money? Okay. Because I, I looked away when it was like, you fainted, so I don't know how much I actually lost. Um, so we might just do a restart if that happens. Standard cash loss. None of these are going to be very effective. And yeah, you're going to be faster. Yep. All right, Claude, get in there. Come on, buddy, you can do it. Yep, use your dragon moves instead of your fighting moves. Amazing, love it for me. Let's go, little buddy. Claude, Claude, Claude. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot there's still rev room, damn it. Claude, Claude, Claude. Uh <laughs> terrestrialized clock. Oh, I don't have a lot of options here. This is gonna hurt. Aya. Uh... Yeah, okay, we're probably gonna need to reset. We're gonna need to reset. Fine. Fine, 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 fine. 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 Okay. Need to give some moves to the doggo because the doggo's got nothing. So fairy moves for the dog. Um, what else? Um, what did we determine? How we had a, uh, okay. So we had Claude for the Toxie. Then we had Sprig was the one hit on the Annihilate. Then uh, after that we had... Um, after that was the Persimian. What are we use for Persimian? We were using Tink, yeah? The schlops. Does it tink? Uh, and Pokemon that I like for this gen, uh, I really love Pommy. I love Smoliv. Um, Tinker Tank. Big one uh, has grown on me. I didn't really like the first and middle stage. I was like, eh. Um, like in the final. It's grown on me quite significantly. Ah! Oh my, hello, fusion. It's grown on me quite a lot. Get some rest, MC. Get some rest. Appreciate it. Congrats again on the crazy stream as well. Uh, let's go and heal up quickly. I love Claude. I love da 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 sparse also. <gasps> oh no, Cody. It's after my doubloons. Get him. Oh yeah. I keep dodging this scythe like, go away. Go away. Go away. Go away! Stop Naruto running! Okay, 
let's give... Uh, okay, we need a fairy or psychic move for... Uh, fairy charm, no, disarming void, draining kiss, misty terrain. So the only one would be draining kiss to give to the doggo, which, you know, it's something. It's better than nothing. It's only got bloody tackle at the moment. Oh, Flittle is so cute, yes. Agreed. Let's get rid of Tail Whip. How about Psychic Moves? Buzz and headbutt, light screen. Uh, not really anything that I can make. Hmm. The raid thing's cool. That's pretty similar to the previous game, so nothing too crazy. Oh no, Claude. Okay, I don't really have any um XL candies to spend on XL. Um <laughs> XP candies to spend on these guys, so uh what are we gonna need to deal with the car? I feel like that's the final thing is the car to deal with. Are we putting... We're going to put Skell back on the team? Is that what we were saying we needed to put the Skelly back on? Oh yeah, oh my god, Claude, you scared me. Let's do a couple of really quick, quick battles here. And mate, love your work, Skelly. We can squeeze another level or two out of the few things here. I also need a snack urgently. Urgent snacking required. Desperate snacks call for desperate measures. Eee! Save me, Skelly! Oh my. Yes, that's the exact way that I was facing. Oh my god. Ah. <sighs> Sneak in a couple of... There we go. Okay. Let's reattempt. Okay. Huh. Just keep trying until it works, you know? If we fail again, we actually probably should go grind a little bit. Do you reckon uh, this, which one's harder? Do you reckon this base or the fairy base? Because I haven't done the fairy base either. Uh, 
okay, snackage. Snack attack. Look at this. Look at this box. Look at this box. Okay, if we fail this one, we might go do the fairy one then. Also, if you want to get yourself a little snack box, click that link. What are we thinking? What are we thinking? What are we thinking? Uh, sweet potato chip. Looks pretty good. Got an eyelash in my eye, also very good. Nice, black sesame wafers. What do we got here? <gasps> Yo, is that like Okonomiyaki snack? Okay, hold on. These are our two choices. Otherwise I'm just gonna get like lost in a box of snacks. Okay, what are you feeling? A sweet potato snack or Okonomiyaki snack? You guys decide. How do I get this eyelash out of my... Give me... I need to... You guys decide that while I get this eyelash out of my eye. Oh no, Skelly's in the lead. Oh, I didn't swap it out. All right, all I see in the chat is sweet potato, so I guess we're going with that. Sweet potato. Wee. Ooh, ooh. Bit of like barbecue flavoring. Hell yeah. Sweet potato and some BB chew. Hell yeah. Big crunch. Just gonna move this for a moment while I crunch. Cat's calling me a sweet potato. I could live with that. I can live with that. I'll allow it. All right. Flower trick. Hopefully one or two of these is enough. Yeah. Never mind. Okay, so an eyelash has to probably hit Claude first. And then if I use that. I'm playing Scarlet. That's a good chip. That's a really good chip. Breakfast chip, ultimate chip. Big smooch, go doggo. This poor thing does really nothing, hey? 
There we go. We might have to go do the fairy gym if we fail this again. Oof. God, it hurts. He's doing really good starting. He's really doing really, really good. Okay, so we have to let the primate do. Did I save before going into this one? I feel like I didn't. Did I save at the door or was I a goose? I was thinking about snacks. Yeah. Oh my God. Didn't, boo, okay. Well, guess we're losing cash. Nicola, what's up? <laughs> okay. Oh my god, what is this do what what? Okay, well. I mean honestly, I didn't really we didn't level up that much. I just put Skelly on the team. Let's go to the fairy the fairy star base. I don't know what that means, true, but congrats if that is your sports ball team. Uh, okay, fire is, fire is weak too. Uh, fairy, look at steel, is what, Tinker, Tinkerton sweep? Tinky sweep? Let's see, Tinkerton carry. We uh Boop. Uh I don't think so, Pinball. I don't think so that I know of. The crunch, oh my god, why is the crunch so loud? Let's put the mic right up here. They are the crispiest chips. <laughs> yes, Mr. Harrington. Hmm. Uh, and who might you be, young lady? A friend of the young master, perhaps? Young master. Ah, I see. Since you seem unaware, I must inform you that this is the base of Team Star's fairy crew, the Ruchbach squad, led by Master Ortega. General Organa? <gasps> Mr. Harrington, I don't think we're supposed to be giving out that information. No? Then please accept my apologies. Do you have any idea as to who this young lady might be? She's no friend of ours, you know. I think she might be uh, here to try and take us on. Yo, Mr. Harrington, are you selling fairy dust to the students? I take it you're an uh, adversary for the young master. Uh, sure. Is that so? Well, that leaves me with one last thing to ask you. Would you be so kind as to indulge me in a quick battle? <laughs> no. <gasps> I 
I refuse. Professor Han Trainer Harrington. Why is why is there a teacher here? Is he trying to like, is it his kid? What's going on here? Selling the red candies to the kids. Um, uh, Morgrim is half fairy, right? Isn't it a fairy dog? Oh well, you get the hammer. Everyone gets the hammer. Everyone gets the hammer. We're getting hammered. Goodbye. Ah, uh, Hatron. You know what? Who gets the hammer? Hatron on the second turn because I can't do it straight away because... Because that's how the move works. So you're gonna get flashed. I'm gonna flash you and then we're gonna get hammered. How's that sound? Totally like a normal sentence that cannot be taken in any other way except for how I intended it. Boys, get wrecked. This hammer is huge. I wonder how many Pornyard had to die to make that hammer. Like when we think about it, that's in the, you know, that's in the the decks. How many Pornyard died to make that hammer? Be aware the young Master Ortega's battle prow prowess far surpasses my paltry skills. You would do well to take care. No, you. Now if you excuse me. Hasta la vista. Oh! oh, wait, that's the grunt said hasta la vista. Okay. That gentlemanly guy used to be the director of the academy, I think. At least that's what I heard. Now he's like tutoring the boss or something? He shows up here sometimes to take the boss uh, to his lessons. Why am I explaining this to you? There's no doubting that you're here to make trouble. I gotta let everyone, uh, everyone know. Farewell. Hasta la vista. Rototo. I see the guard's been dealt with. Good job. That base belongs to Team Star's fairy crew, the Roosh Bar Squad. Their boss, Ortega, is the mechanic of the team. Oh, he's the mechanic, okay. He may be the youngest of the bosses, but his battle skills are no joke. I underestimate him and things go south quickly. He's a real lead from the back type. He gets his grunts to do all the dirty work for him, but his weak point is his short fuse. Get him good and angry and he'll march out to the front lines and deal with him himself. In terms of tactics, there's nothing else before it, but take down all the lackeys. He sends you. It's the same, same rinse and repeat. Ring the bell on the gates. All right. All right. Should have saved. Oh well, I'll be right. Okay, yep. Easy. Easy, easy. Wait, so if I miss... Okay, if this guy's the mechanic of the squad, then what was the, the fire chick's, like, shtick then? Because there was, like, my whole vibe on this was that they all had different, you know, different trade skills, essentially. Like, Team Star is, like, the trade kids who, like, wouldn't actually be necessarily super academically minded, but would succeed in things like, you know, the arts, music... Um, mechanics, engineering, etc, etc, etc. So the vibe that I was getting is like, you know, there's the artsy one, there's the DJ, like the fashion design student. Um, but I thought that the, the fire chick or the red chick was the mechanic. So what's she then? She's the boots. Ah, she's the boots of the team, of course. Oh no, is my bread dead? Bread's dead, baby. Heal him up. True, she could be the engineer and this kid could be the mechanic. To fuel the star bells, okay. Hmm. I guess there could be multiple, like if she, yeah, maybe she's like the engineering and schematic side of things and if this kid's like the mechanic. I thought this kid would be the, um, uh, I was thinking either uh, what cooking or um, 
What was I thinking? Cooking or... I can't remember what I said. She could be the heart. True, she could be the heart. She could be... Whoa, but this guy's got the heart car. <laughs> what a cute car. Oh, I love his fit. Love it. Hey, I know, I know engineers are technically academically minded, but like in the same way of like, if you're someone who's good at making things work, you might not be like super into, you know, English or like, I don't know, that sort of stuff. You might be more into like the physical uh, side of things. Yeah, more, more like Lego engineer, I'm thinking. Like, which is still, you still have to like know your stuff. But you might not be like super into, you know. No, I'm. That's what I'm. I'm. I'm, mate. Me dissing trades. Me. Doing the doing. The, I. That's what I'm saying. I feel like the underlying story for this is like all of the kids in Team Star are the ones who aren't like. Oh, I love mathematics and English. Ooh, ooh. like they're very much like all of the kids so far have been like the fashion design kid. One kid's a DJ, one's a mechanic. It's like very much, I feel like the storyline is gonna be like, oh, if only these kids had some dedicated things that they're at school that they like and they would be doing so well at school, sort of vibe. As opposed to like, wow, why is this kid failing? It's like, it's because maths is boring, Deborah. That's why this kid's failing at school. Like, that's why. Maybe if we let little Timmy, you know, do sport 24 seven, because they're really good at sport. They would be doing great at school sort of thing. It's kind of like the vibe that I'm getting from the team star story. No shade to trades. Trades be hella important. As someone who technically, I guess, I feel like design falls into trades. I think fairy types are all about cuteness. Uh, you're in for a nasty surprise. Even the team star kids have a second job. Ooh, 12 the baton. Oh my god, he's gonna card cap to Sakura us. Or oh, Taker of Team Star. Yeah, true Apex, true. <gasps> As you. Dude, I like this guy's vibe. Um, You get the hammer! Boys. Spadeef. Don't you try and charm me, you creep. Because if you do that, you'll get the hammer. Oh, boo. Oh, wow, that really dropped my attack. Crap, okay. Ah. Oh well, I could just swap into my grassy lad, but at the same time, but am I gonna? No. It's a very just chip away at this. Beautiful. Uh, ST, welcome on in. Thank you for the follow. Uh, DF, thank you as well. Jax, thank you. And Moon, thank you too. Thank you, thank you. Wiggly tough. Um, you know what? Wiggly tough can absolutely get the hammer. Just flashed and hammer, and that's all we're doing here. Boz. Eee! Don't touch me! Boom. Beautiful. These whole team is getting hammered. Uh, Darkspawn is pure fairy, yeah? So you know what? Darkspawn can get the hammer. I'm probably slower than this thing though, right? 
probably. No, sick. We should have stuck with the uh, flash cannon, actually. The Pokemon's adorable strength. This is a fairy move. Probably gonna faint. Yeah. That's fine. We can heal up the uh, the Tink. Um, let's go with. Who's gonna hold their own? Yeah, chuck in the clod. Heal up the uh, heal up the tink. Just in cases, just so it's in the back, you know. Oh, <laughs> the tink was just in storage. Uh, the tink's been in storage for like a day. about the atmosphere. Um, look, I'm glad you're enjoying your soup. Soup is good. Soup is good. As long as you BYO ingredients, you know, if you're stealing other people's soup, though, that's just brutal, you know? How else will they enjoy their soup, you know? Uh, loving it so far, honestly. Yeah, thoroughly enjoying this game. So far, been... Ooh... Okay, we're fine. Um... Really enjoying all like the team leaders, the star leaders. They've all got like a good vibe, very unique flavors, which is fun. I'm gonna eat this chip. Dude, this microphone picks up every, every crunch. You know what, guys? You know what I think it's time for? You know what I think it's time for? Whoa, frame rate. It's time for the hammer! Hell yeah. I can't be confused. Don't you try and play your tricks on me, you stupid car. Or you think just because I'm a cute little girl you can confuse me? No. I'm marched to my own tempo, alright? Mwah. Gimme your health. Get bonked. Big sip. Doot. I got like one HP in a dream. Get flashed. Dude, Flash kind of looks so ominous of just like this orb traveling. <coughs> Excuse me. Go get him, Tinker Tank. Uh, how could I lose? What the heck? Dude, love the fit though. Look, I can't control what someone else, what, what Tinker Tonk does on my stream, all right? <gasps> Flashback time. Oh, what the heck? Uh, your toy car didn't budge an inch, huh? I told you, it's not a toy. It's called the Starmobile. And I was up all night building it. Oh, so you're to blame. You're not to blame. Problem's clear that we're not giving it enough juice. You designed this thing to be powered by two Sharkadet. 
but it's just too heavy. That's such a shame. I wanted to see the looks on our bullies' faces once we got it moving. I'm sorry, I really thought it would work. Come, good fellow, tis no occasion for melancholy. Why, to make such a remarkable contraption by thine own hand? Genius, thy name is Ortega. Yeah, well, there's no point if it doesn't work, is there? If I knew all that effort would have a zero payout, I've just asked Mother to buy a car for... <laughs> Yo, team privilege? <laughs> See, this is why people don't take you seriously. You say some stupid things, you know that? What? Hey, Mella, cool it, would you? How about no? I'm poor as hell. <laughs> I mean, we even put in this code for... Uh, we even put this in the code for crying out loud. When we started Team Star, we swore to quit relying on our parents or bags of cash to fix our problems for us. Did you forget? If that hunk of junk doesn't move, get it moving. If we're short on juice, just gotta crank up the power somehow. Doesn't take a genius, man. That's easy enough to say, Melly. But do you have an actual plan? I'm gonna- <laughs> I love when she walks. I'm gonna train up my shark cadet and have him evolve. The boosted firepower will get the Starmobile moving, no sweat. Uh, but the hour of Operation Star is nigh at hand. Will you succeed in time? I'll get it done. Melly way! Uh, Mella shoots her mouth an awful lot, but she means well. I know. God, this sucks. Okay, so little pink here is the is the engineer, and Melly is the service station petrol station attendant. Because where would we be without retail workers? You know. Or she can do some science fueling. Uh, I hate myself for losing, but I also can't get over how awesome you were in battle. If any of us squad bosses are defeated, that means we have to step down. And going against our code would make me a traitor to the team. Fine, I don't have any choice. So take the badge already. You better treat it with respect it deserves. Take a selfie with me. Sick. I'm not done yet. He's my favorite TM too. Dazzling Gleam. Never saw you use it on account of me using the hammer. But I get it. You're super strong. I'll admit that much. You even busted up my Starmobile. Young Master Ortega. Mr. Harrington. Hey, it's time for my piano lesson, huh? As it happens, I just lost my boss title, so I'm all good to head on home. Uh, actually, a different matter brought me. There's somebody I'd like you to meet. This cool guy. He's a distant acquaintance of mine. Name's Clive, kid. What's your business here? I want to tell you something, kid. You're the son of a wealthy family and heir to a major apparel company. So why join a group like Team Star? What a question to ask someone you've just met. My answer is the same as everyone else in my team. It's because I was being bullied. See, Academy really did used to have an issue with bullying. <laughs> used to. Who would guess, right? The school's all rainbows and butterflies these days. And the bullies from back then don't even go to the Academy anymore. What happened to them? As the former director of the Academy, I believe I am in the best position to answer that question. Mr. Harrington. About 18 months ago, the members of Team Star confronted the students who used to bully them. They murdered them. It was horrific. <laughs> uh, an altercation broke out between the groups. Though it did not escalate into a major incident, the altercation nonetheless caused a scandal of... Hitherto. Unknown... Oh, hitherto. Hitherto unknown proportions. Uh, as a result of what occurred that day, the students who had perpetrated the bullying dropped out of the academy, one after another. Uh, but there are any records of that anywhere in the academy? No, I should imagine not. My former deputy deleted all records of the incident, you see. What? Why would you do that? Just as I was puzzling over how to best deal with Team Star in the aftermath of the incident, a certain student came to see me. The student declared that they would take all responsibility for the team's actions. In exchange, they requested that I exonerate the other students of Team Star from any blame. <gasps> what? No one told me that. I accepted the request and agreed not to take disciplinary action against Team Star. Then I assigned uh, 18 months of overseas study to the student who took responsibility for the team. A year and a half of studying abroad? This was not intended as punishment, you understand. Team Star were the victims, after all. I wanted the student to take some time to rest, so I had to them return home uh, to the Gala region. Oh! Uh, under the pretext of overseas study. Around that time, however, the former uh, deputy director took it upon himself to erase all traces of the incident from the academy's servers. It appears the intent was to shield himself from any blame. So he tried covering up the whole thing? That's terrible. 
After we discovered what he had done, I dealt with him appropriately, of course. But the inability of myself and the rest of the teaching staff to prevent this terrible act also represented a grave blunder on our part. I accepted the blame that lay at my feet and resigned from my position as director. The rest of the teaching staff then joined me in handing in their notices. Oh wow, why not just stay and make the lives of the students better if you've already done, like, good work? That's why the current teachers were all brought in a year and a half ago. I understand my actions have caused you a great deal of trouble. You have my sincere apologies. How come you decided to talk about this now? Young Master Ortega, Team Star cannot carry on in its current fashion. I merely wish to give you a chance to chart a better course. There's no way I'm abandoning my friends and going to school without them. Not after uh, we've come this far. Your friends in Team Star must mean a great deal to you. Isn't that obvious? It's because, you know, they're my greatest treasure in the whole world. I told you the treasure was the friends we made along the way. What did I say? What did I say? Knew it. Knew it. It's me. I take it that Ortega handed over his star badge to you then. I see. With the boss no longer around, the Ruchbach squad is good as finished. Even Ortega. I'm sorry. We're almost there now. Just one boss left. Your operation's been a huge success thanks to you, Zoe. And Clive has also performed admirably as your support. I remember him saying that your acquaintances. Have you known each other long? Ah, uh, no. He's clearly a reliable friend. He almost reminds me of that gang back in the day. Back in what day? You know, uh, Team Star was formed by a group of students who were being bullied at school. Shortly after forming the team, these students, none other than the squad bosses themselves, confronted their bull bullies head on. The outcome was a resounding victory for Team Star. You could hardly call it a contest. The bullies didn't even put off a fight. They all bolted from the battle the first chance they got. Uh, scared spitless of Team Star. The bullies then dropped out of school, one after another. We just heard this. And Team Star ended up the villains of the story. Oh no. That's neither here nor there. Forget I mentioned it. Here's your reward. Give me the lupa. The lots of points. Give me the supply rep. Hello, Penny. A gas, Penny. Perhaps you will allow me to give you a nuzzle or a lick upon the face. Stay in your Pokeball for once, will you? Uh, okay, Karadon, this is, this is a no. This is a no. Ugh. Karadon needs boundaries, man. Have a good snooze, little Kath. I need a tissue, I need to blow my nose. I feel like a big sneeze. You think I got some cat hair stuck in my schnoz? Uh, Team Star went through all that, huh? Oh, sorry, Penny. <clears throat> they just wanted to, the bullies to go away, but then they became the bad guys in everyone's eyes. What a joke. The students, the teachers, they're all so messed up. If even just one of them had been paying attention when everyone was getting bullied, they'd have been able to get right, tell right away that Team Star wasn't the one in the wrong. But I guess the big boss was the one who urged everyone to face their bullies despite knowing how messed up the academy is. What a massive idiot. Creating Team Star and just hoping their plan would miraculously work out. I don't know about that. I'm sure of it. Here's your reward. Give me them materials. Next boss is the last one we're counting on you, Zoe. Give me your bag. Give me your bag. All right. Cool. Good job, team. Um. Well... Back over to here. Eh. Okay, I'm gonna go blow my nose. Give me two seconds. Uh, and let's reattempt this other one. Don't roll over the cat. Chuck this. Oh god. And chuck this wrapper in the bin. BRB legends, get yourself a water if you need one. I mean, this. What's our setup here? Uh, 
let's do a couple of just quick little throw out battles. Sorry, toots. How's everyone doing um, shiny wise so far in the game as well? Any crazy shiny collections happening or? Oh God, oh God, oh God. No, not you pawn. Pawn yard. Um, <laughs> prawn maybe would uh, sound less weird. I guess be cautious in case there's like, don't spoil and say like um, paradox Pokemon because I only, I only know of like the Don fan so far, I guess, but. Let us know. Do you have something spicy that you that you got? Bombardier and Tandem Mouse, nice. You got Dunsparce, let's go. Let's go. How are we doing, Night Queen? Welcome in. Is the Bombardier uh, shiny good? Again, please don't spoil and say what colors they are, if possible. Um, I've managed to make it this far without knowing the colors for anything. Uh, pretty much. I accidentally saw the shiny Tauros. Um, but let me know, are they good? Are they good? Six pink shinies, let's go, Corrupted. <laughs> Got a Garchomp. Shiny Meowth, cute. Shiny Dealing and Heracross, yes. Two beautiful ones. Beautiful shinies. Got a Full Odds Paradox Mon and two random Venomoth. And a flittle from an out. Hell yes. Nice one. Got your tarant tarantula in the first few hours. That's sick. Oh, sorry. Little skelly's injured. Ah, uh, no, you get less XP from doing the, the fast battles, but you can do more of them quicker, I guess. So it kind of depends, like balancing it out. Um. You get more XP from doing a regular battle, but obviously that's the, the exchange is your time. Back to our outbreaks got uh, Tadbulb and Haunter. Oh, what do you reckon, Max? Do you reckon I would like the Tadbulb shiny? Cause I've got a Tadbulb outbreak. Do you reckon that's gonna be my vibe? Oinkalone, that's pretty cool. New shiny though. Shiny Bombardier is a nice change. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Wee. Um, if you need to look up the colors for any of the shinies and stuff, um, you can look on Cerebi. That'll have like a picture of the shiny. It'll be like the regular sprite and the shiny sprite together. Um, I don't know the answer to these questions except for the like handful that I've seen. Get a, get a good rest, Mark. Have a good one. Have a good one. Belly Bolt's much better of the two. Okay. Okay, I can live with that. I can live with that. I can live with that. I like Oinkaline. I I've seen the shiny for the little piggy. Um, I just really dislike pigs as a thing. Um, so it's gonna be, he's gonna be fighting an uphill battle in the first, oh God. Rototo. I've already fought this one. Oh, okay. I guess it's because it's the last one. Okay. You made it as well, Clive. Uh, of course. It's the last base. Wouldn't want to miss out on the action. Oh, my thanks. Your help has been invaluable to the operation. I'm sorry I was so wary of you at first. It's all wonder, water under the bridge. When we're finished with this base, what will be the end? Uh, will that be the end of Operation Starfall? Not quite. We still need to handle the Team Star's secret mastermind, last of all. Do you have any leads on how to find them? I'm hoping they'll come out in the open once all the squad bosses have stepped down. Cassiopeia, you're the boss. We've come so far. Only a few more steps left. Don't let me down. Either of you. Oops. Didn't know anyone disliked piggies. 
Um, it's a long story, but I found a dead boar in my cousin's like playroom closet once, and that was kind of like a bit of nightmare fuel. Um, which kind of, kind of, I'm going to call it like a core memory. Uh, really put pigs on like an uphill battle against me sort of thing. Like a, a little like baby piggy might get, like maybe it gets a free pass, but like, yeah. Yeah, it's it's one of those things where how does that even happen? That is That is a great question, Pelican, you know? That is a great question. <laughs> Long story short, long story short, um, I mean, it's long story long. Um, cousin's dad used to do like wild pig hunting, boar hunting and stuff, had like all the pit bulls. Didn't really know how potentially lethal a weapon pit bulls were. That's probably why they were in the cages at their house. Um, but when they moved house, they were on this particular property that was like went onto bushland. Old like cousin's, wait, I guess whatever second whatever cousin's dad, boar hunting whatever else, the downstairs area they just had like the whole downstairs area just just like for the kids because it was just like this whole extra bit of space went straight to the outside whatever, so like the playroom was down there like everything else but it was pretty like open space and there's just like this cupboard, which clearly turns out was the hanging the dead boars in cupboard, how would I have known that? Um, I'm sure they knew because it's their house whatever. Um, we were playing hide and seek one day and I was like, I'm going to hide in the cupboard. That's a great place to hide. That's just a normal place to hide in a playroom. It was not. Narrator voice. It was not. There was an upside down dead boar hanging in the cupboard. Flies and all. And I've like, I'm like running to hide. Ten, five, six, seven. Got to get somewhere to hide quickly. I like literally opened the door and like physics went backwards. Like I'm like, I'm like my, like as I'm pulling to go in and see this, your body's just like, no, like did the whole slip backwards, fall backwards, cause I like slammed the cupboard. And I'm like, I did not just see that. This is actually a dream. This is, this is a really weird dream, but I'm not waking up. I opened the cupboard again, confirmed, and closed the cupboard. And I was just like, I'm just going to hide behind the couch. I'm just like sitting behind the couch, just like sweating. Like, I certainly did not win that round because I was just literally behind the couch that was open plan playroom. So I was just like having a moment there. I didn't really care that I lost that round. I didn't really need to. I was like, what's with the pig? <laughs> as soon as I was found. Oh, I, dare I say it, sweating like a pig. Yeah, so I've got, um, you know, just not, just pigs didn't have the best, for, you know, head start. Me being the person who loves every animal sort of vibe. Pigs really got a, uh, dude, it was like a horror movie level of, like, you know, like the, like the, I don't know, just imagine insert just feral hog sort of visual. Yikes. I didn't want to lose Lizzie, but you know, I was kind of like running out of time at that point. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just, you know, you know, piggies are fighting an uphill battle for me. So Oin Cologne, I'm so sorry that you get tarnished with that brush, but yeah. <laughs> well, we'd never cut that from the VODs, would we? <laughs> Oh. No, no, you're fine, Lizzie. I've told the story before. It, it is just a bizarre, like it's it's literally one of those, like how in the world is that a thing stories? Like the magical man in the mountains in Japan that gave us me gave me and Nick like 14 wishes and a jar full of plums. Like that's a real thing that happened. It doesn't sound like a real thing that happened, but like, you know, same as a pig in a dead pig in a playroom, you know? It just sounds like it's not supposed to be a sentence that happens. It's bizarre. I'm not scared of piggies. I'm just like, oh, I don't trust you. Oh, suspicious. <laughs> it's not Oink Alone's fault. I'm, I'm, fault. I'm sure Oink Alone has a lovely shiny. <laughs> I just... 
I think just because it was so normal for them because like that cousin was always like pig hunting and stuff. It was just like that was his thing. I think it was just kind of like, you know, you don't think about it when it's your, your norm. Like, oh, why would you even try to hide in the pig cupboard? You know? A Bones episode. <laughs> It does sound like a like a TV episode or something, yeah. Uh, yes, this is the last star battle, yeah. Are you? It hasn't used that move at all yet. Are you joking? Come on. It would have been a great hiding spot, honestly. If I'd committed and gone under the pig, no one would have found me. Uh, um, uh, what are we doing? Uh, this is really annoying. He wasn't, he doesn't use that ice move at all so far. And then he's like, he's learning my strats. Good job, Skelly. Tank it. Okay. Keep going, champion. This is gonna hurt. It's probably gonna wreck me. Yeah. Okay. Now the kitty cat can use the crit move. Because it's gonna go. I think. Where's the pig in the cupboard? <laughs> hey, how we doing, Liz? What's up? Wizard, thank you for the follow. Jake, thank you as well. TV Dreams, thank you too. Sloth King. Wow, a lot of follows for the pig story. I appreciate it, guys. <laughs> what is... I fought this dude like five times. Hasn't used that icicle move once. The real treasure was not the pigs in the cupboard we made along the way. Uh... Oh no, <laughs> Pillow chippies. Pillow chippies. Yeah, is this Team Star member stronger than like the Elite Four or something? Like what's going on? What's going on here? Oh. Say there! <laughs> Sir, why are you at the front door? <laughs> Excuse us, mate. Just got a bing bong. Okay, if we fail this one. If we fail this one. Um, we might do a quick restart. We'll do a couple of raid dens and get some XL candy and then just like feed the lads. Crisps intact. Okay, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Do we know what um what type the elite fours all are? I guess he's gonna be all messed up by the terror types as well though. I'm trying to think. I guess avert your eyes from the chat for a second if you don't want to see it. But if, if someone's willing to spoil the typings for the Elite Four, I'm not going to be opposed. So I probably will need to actually put together a decent ta team. Um, because my team is all over the shop at the moment. Oh, wow. Okay. Good to know, Delta. Thank you. Hmm, okay. Oh, I'd have to put the dolphin back on the team. Uh, Palmy might come back though. Or the ice lad. 
My slide might be able to. I'd have to skip out for... Uh, be alright. Yeah. Uh, Annihil- Okay, you stay in. We pray for no ice moves. Should I just like keep healing Clod here while Annihilate uses its moves? Legit. I no, I I still have not recovered from that max. I'm I'm not. Uh -uh. Mm -mm -mm. Oh really? Oh, that's interesting. It's good. That's wild. A uh, bit of both, Night Queen. I've been doing a fair bit of, um, not fair bit, I've been doing a handful of uh, like Pokédex progression off stream um, just for catching things like, you know, that we've seen before, like going through and just catching like Dratini, catching, you know, insert Pokémon. Um, wait, is it actually paralyzed? Oh, we got the power! Oh god, why did I waste that? Ah! Um... Never mind. Um... <laughs> rip. So yeah, slightly. I've been chipping away at it and trying to evolve some things as we go. Um... For sure. Oi oi oi. Dude, the Annihilate's really chunky. There we go, that's a bit better. <gasps> yes! Couldn't move. Keep going, Skelly. Beautiful, love your work. Ah, uh, Lucario, we're gonna stay in. We're going to... Yeah, we'll do this one because we might get the spatik. Good God! Why would you do that? Jesus. Persimian, yes, let's switch. Good God. Oh wait, no, Persimian's fight. I Fighting. Um... Uh, let's see if we can get some big kisses off. Oi, oi, oi. Doing good, miss. How about you? Okay, and little kisses. Little kisses. Oh, good luck for it, Delta. That's exciting. Oh my god, life-size Lucario doll? I might have. I feel like I repressed that. Because it was like body pillow size, wasn't it? Like proper, like... Big boy one. <laughs> Stop hitting me. I need to... I really need to heal my team. I feel like Sprig can cop a hit, maybe. Oh, but it used close combat, that hurts Sprig. Okay. Oh, really? I should just use the hammer? Okay, whoopsies. Okay, okay, okay. Even with the tire. Okay. Good to know. Okay, Sprig do this. Then Sprig heal Skelly. Then Skelly... Terrastal fire on the car. Yeah? 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 Oh my god, padding asleep. Oh my god. 
That's intense. That's so intense. It's like some of the some of the life-size Pokemon where it's like, oh, a giant steel, how cute is that? And then it's like, it's Lucario, like a literal man. <laughs> like, okay, cool. Cool. Like, you know, at least with the feel, more than likely, it's just, you know, living its happy life as a round boy. Lucario, though, I... I... Poor buddy. Um, I hope that it's being treated kindly. Um, other thing for the follow as well. Okay. Oh, dear. Look, might as well, while we're here, right? Oh, never mind, it's gonna hit me first. Okay. Oh god, I hope they never make a Lapunny. Life-size one. Good god. <laughs> Pelican, no! Pelican, no! <laughs> no! Oh, could you imagine if they did like a whole line of like Lopani, uh, Serena, uh, um, Vaporeon, <laughs> um, yeah. People can't be trusted. Oh no, I used Flamethrower, not my other special move. Whoopsies. Dang it. Oh. oh my god. Why do you have that? Why does it just like... I feel like it just suddenly has different moves where it's like, Oh yeah, now I've got, I've got this now. Didn't tell you about it. I've got this now. Are you joking me? Is my fire going to be charging it up? Why am I so bad at this game? Yeah, guard of... Yeah. Guard of... Yeah. Yeah, look, I'm not, I'm not gonna say no to the life-size cloister. I feel like that's functional. That's fine. He's chilling. Come on, giraffe. You can do it. Bring it home for the team. One HP in a dream. Oh, crap. So is it, wait, is hitting this thing with physical moves the thing that's like... Okay, increasing the physical defense, okay. Oh. Yeah, this is over. Okay, so what we're gonna do is... What we're gonna do is a couple of raids to get some uh, XL candy thingies to... Uh... No, I don't have any max revives. I don't have any max revives. Astro Ravioli, what a great name, and now I'm hungry, how dare you. Thank you for the follow. Oh, I want some ravioli. I need to make pasta disaster. Make a good pasta disaster. Get some raviolis in me. Um. Okay. Uh, there's quite a few raid dens around here, actually. Let's go and fly me to the raids. Bring back the defibrillator poor me. We could, we could. I feel like the dough, I mean, the dough can take a couple of hits. The dough can take some hits, dough. Um, I think for the final, we'll definitely bring back the defrib for the elite four, I'm feeling. Okay, also if anyone wants to join in for these raids, I'm going to have it set to be open for anyone to join with the code. 
So if you'd like to do that, prepare yourself. Mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually, etc. Yoink. Uh, challenge as a group. Uh, do I have to connect to the- no, I mean offline cancel, hold on. Hold on, I gotta connect, gotta go through the thing, connect to the internet, and do the and bim, Play phone on, and everything. Connect. Kendo, relearn, play rough. I didn't think my dough learnt it though, I never took it off, did I? Oh yeah, cool. All right. Um, okay, there's one down here. Uh, every, you mean time of day or duration for when I usually stream? I'd say typically around this time of day is the huge. I Yeah, try to get up early-ish for streams so that we get Euro time zone and the uh, Americas as well. Um, so typically I don't do like, I don't do Australian time zone nighttime streams, typically. Unless like Alan's out and doing something and I'm like, you know, chilling. Um, but... Maybe, Max, I'll have to have a look, see if I can. <gasps> Apple! Apple. Okay, link code's going up. But yeah, time of day, I would say, is typically around here. Um, in your defense, I haven't streamed a lot this year because of all the travel stuff through the middle of the year. We're traveling so much. I think there was like genuinely a, a month or two stretch where I like hadn't even streamed. Um, so, um, I mean, typically, best bet, you know, new games out like this, I'll be streaming considerably more. So, yeah. Um, I mean, it's just level one, right? I can just use the clod. Ah, oh, thank you. That's a good idea, Max. I'm going to check. It could have been done with um quick battles when it got that move. Oh, I should have changed to the skelly. Everyone's got their skellies in. Everyone's got their skellies in. Use Tropius for your team. That's that's cute. I like Tropius. <gasps> Let's go, Dead Pixel. Getting your first switch this week. Welcome. Welcome to main series games. Hey, guess what? Don't worry if you don't know typings and attacks and stuff. I've been playing Pokemon for 25 years and I still don't know half the stuff. So just have a good time. And it's okay. Oh, he's already dead. See, other people, people will do the damage for you. It's fine. <laughs> so fret not. When you, uh, when it all comes down to it, of all the different possible combinations of like typings and things, I think there's like over 900 possible combinations for type effectiveness and resistances. So don't feel bad that you don't know all of them, because that stuff's hard. Just have fun and welcome. Hope you enjoy your Switch. Uh, and yes, I've got Quaxley. Someone traded me a Quaxley. No worries at all, Dragon. Take good care of the apple. Yeah, true, even more now with terror types. Absolutely true. True. It grows by eating the flesh of an apple. What? Applin uses its own body fluid to strengthen the apple's skin and prevent it from rotting. Oh yeah, it's the worm inside, hey. Important question for you guys in chat. Flapple or Appleton? Flapple or Appleton? Yeah. 
Hell yeah, I got my people in the chat. Apples and apples and apples and apples and apples. <laughs> oh no, the flapples. <laughs> the flapples are rising up. Get them. Get them, boys. Oh, flapple. No. <laughs> You're like, no, nope, I like the pie now. That's valid, Bookworm. That's valid. You can have both. You can have both. Oh no, the flapples are rising up. Damn it. So I feel like the Appletons were all very enthusiastic about the thick boy, but I feel like everyone prefers like, I don't know, I'd be curious if it's like a 50-50 split or not. Exactly pixelated. You could just like, you, it's, oh, hello. You're allowed to eat it. Like eat the skin off its back, yum yum. And it just regenerates. Like that's great. That's great. <laughs> Is a really big bramblin? Or is that the next evolution? I can't tell. Oh, whoops. Bramblegast. Why does it look exactly the same as Bramblin? <laughs> I just love Appleton, he's so chumby. Love him. Okay, where's the next den? Uh, I got a couple over here. All right, why can't I fast travel to there? Pineapple. <laughs> Pine flapple on pizza. All right, bug raid incoming. Oh, we got bug terror type for the baby. Link codes going up. Dirt picks same, legit same. I think Appleton, shiny Applin for me was was it the? Oh, it was either it was either my nine hundred egg one or my one thousand three hundred egg one, or both. Took so long. So, so long. Bug raid presented by Aha. 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 Uh. Oh, the evolution has a better shiny than Bramblin. Okay. That's the key difference. Oh yeah, let's let's peep the clip. It's been a hot second. Oh my god, what year? 1,381. Jesus. Dude. I think I genuinely screamed into the microphone for that one. Good god. That was ridiculous. Whoa, what is that? Dragon. Dragon bringing spoilers to the raid. I gotta look up. I'm not allowed to look at this raid. Eh. Okay, you guys have to do the battle for me. Is it cool, whatever it is? It looks like it had a knife. Oh, something shiny. Someone's got a shiny in the raid. Battle's still going. This really hurts my neck, actually. I'm just gonna like support the neck like a baby. Ugh. Okay, we're catching. Should be a regular ball, I think. Safe. Double shiny ender spoiler. Oh my god. Okay, I'm just gonna keep looking up just in case. Cool. 
court. Beautiful. Good job, team. They used every... Oh my god. <laughs> That's all good, Dragon. That's all good. I didn't see it. I only saw whatever the sprite was and immediately... You are forgiven. You are forgiven. It's happened. It's happened. Look, I, I I even felt bad like in one of the raids the other night. I was like, yeah, I'm just gonna like do whatever in the raid. And I was like, I had my icy dragon. And I was like, oh crap, what if someone doesn't have like the icy dragon? Cause they were using like the most early game Pokemon. Um, I think they were actually like fairly far in the game technically, but I was like, oh God, what have I done? What have I done? Don't stress. Oh, crunch my neck. Let's go. Um, oh, here's a good question. Do we know how... Do we know how to get the... Apparently there's like versions of... Like different versions of the... Of Tauros? Do we know how to get... Different... Different version Taurus? Like, will you just see it? Like, will you just kind of see the different one? Yeah, the dens will change when you connect to online because the Eevee thing was a temporary thing. It'll like update. Where you catch them, okay. Certainly, oh, it's the leader of the pack, right. That's when someone was saying like, have you caught the leader? Right, okay. Cool, thank you, good to know. I just thought I was like being crazy. I'd like seen a few groups of them and I was like, I don't see the difference. <laughs> Growly. Do I have a Growly yet? Oh. Are you a different colour? Or are you just in the grass? Just in the grass, okay. Actually, while we're here, let's have a quick look at this Tad Bulb outbreak and see if it's like a if they're like just hiding in the grass sort of scenario okay they're fairly visible at least they're like they're very obviously like yellow blobs so for anyone that's I mean you guys said the ones of you that have got the shiny tad bulb it wasn't hard to spot so that might not be a bad little um shiny hunt we get this team star done, we can have a bit of a cheeky little hunt, hey? Your first shiny was the Tad or was the um Tauros? Uh we got the the switchblade cricket. Link code going up. If possible, please do not bring mad spoys to the raid. Or the um the one that you brought dragon to the to the raid battle was your first shiny. Oh no, Corrupted, you missed out on the Eevees. Oh. Depending time zone, you might be able to join other people's Eevee ones if they're still hosting. Oh, the one you brought to the raid was your first shiny. That's sick. Nice.
Oh, is that a shiny Garchomp? That's really a Garchomp. Cerule Edge looks cool. Dude, get wrecked, low kicks. Get low kicked in the teeth. Got Scyther, Muna, Hoot Hoot. Oh, wow. And a Cottony? Good gracious. That's ridiculous. Congratulations. Young Snow, thank you for the follow. Uh, thank you, Billy, as well. And uh, Game of Fred, thank you, too. And Matt. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And Monkey. Cheers for the follows, guys. And Robert. I feel like we're not getting massive returns on investment here with the uh, XP candy. What would you guys name a fire type Terra Dunspice? Dunspice. Dunspice. Easy. Uh, heal up. Okay. Good night, miss. Have a good one. You name it Greg. Exactly. Name it Greg. <laughs> uh, okay. Hmm. How are you doing, Jay? What's up? Let's quickly grab... Okay, so we need to... How do we fix up the moves if they've forgotten to move? Change nickname? No. Do we still have to use the TM machine or no? Uh, got some nest balls, got some Stardust. Oh, there we go, XP candy. Quick balls. Dusk stone. Dusk balls. Shiny stone. Oh my god, let's just go. XP candies. Medium. Dark balls. Goodness gracious. Alright. Uh, moves in the summary. Okay. Oh, legend. Thank you. That's easy. Um, so we should bring back uh, Play Rough, didn't we? Okay, I wonder if anyone else is like missing moves from that. Claude I'm kind of fine with at the moment. Uh, Tink could bring back Play Rough as well, possibly, but... Fairy Wind, Astonish... Probably better than Draining Kiss though, like probably any of those would be better than Draining Kiss.
What are you thinking? Swap out play rough. Put play rough, play rough instead of draining kiss. I really need to eat like something proper, proper. Hey? Ugh. Oh no, corrupted. Ripperoni. I know, it does, it fits really nicely. It does. Um. Okay, let's just do, let us, still a bunch of quick battles here. Let's try and squeeze out a couple more levels. Squeeze out a couple more levels. Who's lagging behind? We need, um... We need... Where's that little... Item? That's the cell bag. That's the food bag. That's the ball bag. Wait, what? Um... That's the hill bag. I actually should give my Pokemon like uh, items. Hey, that would probably help. Hey. Uh, floatstone. No. Smooth rock. Rock move. So I was gonna give it the lucky egg to uh, give to giraffe. Soft sand. Give that to the clod with the ground moves. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> how are we doing, Mongoose? What's up? We'll make up for it. Next TwitchCon. Next TwitchCon. All right, that's a couple of levels. Okay. Uh, let's go for some fatink. Let's go use some for the clod. And the other one for the giraffe. Okay. Ah, oh, dang. I hope they had a great TwitchCon regardless. That was good fun. That was good fun. Okay, so I think we're gonna do, we're gonna do a couple of these quick battles, get a squeeze a couple of extra levels in here if we can. And just, you know, get good. Oh my God. <sighs> Luxray, my guy. What's that all about? What was that all about? Oh, that's wicked. Extended the stay. That's sick. 
Teach him a lesson. <laughs> okay. I need to do our best to win on this next attempt because I can't do a crazy long stream today like we did the other day. Shinx, my guy. Would you like to live? Would you like to live? If you survive this hit, I'll try and catch you. Unlucky buddy. <clears throat> this skelly dirt just sounds just sounds like like a malfunctioning piece of equipment like like what does that sound what does that sound like a loading conveyor belt that's kind of like malfunctioning oh my god low kicks would you like to live would you like to live? Don't you spring up. Waste my moves, mate. Uh, it's not so much a time of day thing, it's just I have a few other things I need to get done today as well. That I've been procrastinating. Uh, let's see, nasty plot for the Spatak. No. Don't stress, Dragon, don't stress at all. I didn't see it, technically. I didn't see what it was. That little icon was small enough. Thank you for the sub as well, I appreciate it. A fair, yeah, like a little fairy, like the barge coming in. Mm. That's the sound. <laughs> Appreciate the cheeky sub, my guy. And don't stress too hard about the, the spoy. Okay. Reattempt number 4000. Save. Yeah, I didn't see the name. I didn't physically see. Like, it was like this big. And I realized I hadn't seen what it was, so I just did this. All I saw was a big knife. So it could be, could be anything. Oh. Okay, champions. Stretch. Let's make this happen. We're gonna kick the crap out of this car. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Kuya, thank you for the follow. Huh? Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's do it. Go, Claude. Yeah, you better shudder. You better just be quaking in your boots. Thank you. There we go. One hit now for the earthquake. Okay. Your sacrifice will not be ignored, Claude. Maybe I should just, maybe I should, oh, that's not ice punch. Isn't it? Oh, good job hanging in there, buddy. Good job, little man. So maybe I should yawn the annihilate, but. We won't be able to, no. Where's this ice punch coming all of a sudden? The ice punch wasn't making a feature previously. Did we decide what was the best 
here. I think we had the skelly, because the skelly was... Uh, tolerating some of the hits. And doing a fair bit of damage itself. Oh yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. Could have been better, but... It's after the... It's Pessimian after this, isn't it? Let's go play rough. Take it, tank it, tank it. No? Okay. Sick. Just a little smooch. Just take the edge off. Okay. Persimian. I think we were going Sprig Persimian, right? Cool, so two of those should sort us out. Dude, that close combat though is just like issue. Cause the close combat's gonna hurt. So I think we need to leave the the bun for the Persimian, possibly. Okay, I'm faster at least. Okay, that works. Simeon down. Lucario uh, ideally would have had the Skelly alive for that. Okay. Um. Okay, not as much as I'd like. Okay, so Lucari wanna make sure we have Skelly still alive. can do it, champion. Doubt. Suave, how we doing, champion? How we doing? Yes, on Switch, yeah. Oh my god. One HP in a dream. Can I terrestrialize and heal in the same turn? Let's just 
Let's find out. Let's just see. Let's just see what uh, the giraffe does these days. Woof. Maybe should have gone for the side beam to maybe if I got the confusion off, that would have been good. But. Go, you little champion. Oh! Oh my god, can the giraffe do this? Did it miss the first hit? Oh no, okay, there we go. Okay. 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 Mm hmm Okay. Uh, the Eevee raids, I think time zone dependent, they're possibly already gone for you. Um, and you need to connect to the online. The online. Uh, if you see a raid den that's like way more sparkly on the map, that would be one of the Eevee ones. If we get that confusion to happen, that'd be great. Oh my god, come on, go giraffe! Go giraffe! I friggin' love you if you can make this work. Okay, speed down. We're just gonna keep playing it safe. We're healing. We're healing and we're hitting. Oh, the event's ended for everyone? Okay, well, don't go online then, yeah. Don't go online then, because you might still be able to find offline ones. Go you good thing, come on. Bring it home. Make the team proud. Go you little champion, yes! That's what I'm for rigor raffin' talking about. Let's go. Let's go. All of the XP just for you, my pretty little horse. <laughs> winner, winner, chimkin dinner. Giraffe for president. I'm so sorry, everyone. Flashback to I'm so sorry, everyone. About a year and a half ago. I'm so sorry, everyone. I'm so sorry, I think I went a little too far. Uh, no, nah, don't worry about it. We're the ones who ask you to put us through some tough battle practice so we can train up. Yeah, but... Truly, no need to apologize, my lady. Oh, no. Oh, no, Atticus. Thanks to thy sage instructions, I am making swift strides towards mastering the art of battle. Uh, and I could never have evolved my Pokemon without you, Eri. Even the big boss said it's thanks to you that we have a fighting chance against our bullies. See? Nothing but gratitude. To us, you're the brightest star on the whole team. Aww. Yeah, well, you sure did kick my buns. Quit being silly. One more thing. We've been training uh, for four whole hours now. I'm totally pooped. You have to take a break. Uh, I'll go for a run while you rest up. My lady... We four have each trained in our turn, but you, our steadfast mentor, uh, have rested not once. I cannot help but worry for thy health. They give you concerns, Atticus. But lately I feel like I can take anything. Even if I'm really tired, I feel like crying. Remember that time we all got together and riffed on the gym badge designs to create our own star badges? Well, I don't know what, uh, what it is, but just looking at my star badge makes me feel so strong. Aww. Like when I give it my all. Booster, thank you for the prime. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I gave it my all, but it wasn't enough. I wasn't enough. You are enough, Eri. You showed amazing strength. Even if the code didn't require me to give it to you, I want you to have this. Isn't it part of the code? Give me a handshake. Oh, that's a pretty sick handshake. The true shinies with the handshakes we got along the way. I'd like you to try my trademark move. 
close combat. Yeah, well, I was sure did kick my buns like 1,400 times. I know you're part of Operation Starfall, but I could tell from our battle that you're not a bad person. The way your Pokemon look at you with such trust gives it away. Do me a favor. Uh, look away for a moment. This is a bit much for me to take. I just really... Go have a cry. It's all good. Crying's fine. Get it out. Looks like it's all over. Uh, oh, Rimi. Uh, this is the Team Star member you battled at the gates earlier. I asked her to come along for a talk. What did you want me to uh, ask me? You seem to be on much friendlier terms with Aerie compared to the other grunts. Why is that? Oh, you spotted that? Uh, I don't mind telling you. Truth is, I used to hate Riri. She's an amazing trainer and athlete, and she's really pretty too. I took her in no time uh, at all to become popular at the academy. I was queen of the class before she came along, but then everyone liked her more than me. So let me guess, you started to pick on her. Pretty much. Uh, I got our classmates to join in too. Uh, we were all so stupid. But in the end, kids are always fickle. And once, uh, and once one thrills, once one thrill wears off, they look for something new. Before long, the class chose me as their next target. The class chose me as their next target. Uh, and started bullying me instead. I guess I deserved it. But then Riri, she chose to help me even though I've been so horrible to her. Uh, she told me that she understood how hard it is to have no one on your side. Ah. Oh. And she invited me to Team Star. Even after you bullied her like that, what a kind girl. She really is. And joining the team has worked out great for us. It's been so much fun. Fun. The rumors that Team Star likewise engages in bullying. After hearing my story, do you think that's true? Uh, no, I merely... Riri and those of the Team Star uh, made me who I am today. Oh, Please don't take away our greatest treasure. Friendship. Friendship. Corgi race? That sounds awesome. Rototo. Uh, Zoe, it's me. Did you do it? Did you calm Ares? Did you claim Ares star badge? Without its boss, the calf squad should be hair's breadth from disbanding. So Ares was the last. All five squad bosses have now been toppled from their pedestals. I imagine they'll leave Team Star before long, now they've lost their special positions. After that, they should be back attending classes at the Academy. Nice work out there, Zoe. Is that Clive I hear? Cassiopeia, well done to you too. Thanks, now I'll obey your reward, Zoe. I'll transfer some LP. Some lucky... Pandas. You earned 20,000 lucky pandas. You can now make more kinds of TMs. Sick. Uh, I'm doing the whole supply unit rep thing this time, right? Indeed, you can go ahead and give Zoe her bonus reward now. A big high five. Black more materials. Long last, Operation Starfall has entered its final stage. One thing left on the agenda. Defeat the big boss and have Team star, star disband for good. How? Don't worry, there's no need to search them out. The true identity of the big boss is me. Knew it. It is none other than me. <gasps> Gasp. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to keep it from you so long, but the right moment never came. I'm the one who formed Team Star. Back then, the members of the team were my closest friends. I'd treasure them more than anything. If they go on like this, Team Star won't do any good for anyone. They've got to give it up. So I'm using the code we made together to force them to disband. Zoe, I'll be waiting for you in the schoolyard after dark. You should come as well, Clive. Understood. I'll see you both there. Ooh. So Cassiopeia was the big boss of Team Star this whole time. I scarcely thought it was possible. Not with the foreshadowing? Okay. I'd have an inkling as to their true identity. It seems we'll find our answers after dark in the academy schoolyard. Aight. Let's go. I need to heal my team. Is this a hard battle or... 
Swabbies. Bye, guys. Congrats on the shiny Gumi. That's wicked. Congratulations. Uh, Sakura and uh, Sav, thank you for the follows. And someone, thank you for the follow as well. Bing, 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 bong, bing. Yep, all the gyms are done. All the team stars done. All the terrors are done. We haven't done the uh, the lighthouse story yet. But uh, all the gyms do be complete. Hey, welcome on in, Sab. Appreciate it. Happy that the time zones have lined up. Uh, all right, time to reveal the identity of the mysterious Casio keyboard. Oh no, it's day, oh no, it's night time. It's just a very well illuminated building. Should have saved. Sup, Zoe. Hey, Director Clavel, how you doing? Name's Clive, remember? It's time for me to bring this little performance to an end. Allow me to reveal my true identity. Cassie appear. Yeah, look, um, I was not deceived at any point in this journey. The boy you knew as Clive was none other than the director of the Naranja Academy. <laughs> Mr. Clavel, the boy you knew as Clive. I knew this. But my disguise was perfect. Now think about it, I did neglect to keep my youthful act on a few occasions. That must have been what gave me away. Regardless, there is still one more astonishing truth I must reveal to you. Oh, what? The true identity of Cassiopeia, the big boss of Team Star, was me all along. <gasps> Ew. Oh, that's unfortunate. Dang it. When you heard Cassiopeia over the phone, it's actually pre-recorded. Isn't Cassiopeia a girl's name? If we're following like Spanish naming conventions, etc. Ends with an A. It should be the femme version. Maybe he was trying to like go all out with the different options. You know, he had boy version of him, girl version of him, you know. Ah, being tricked. Uh, you, know, you know I'm the big boss, that means there's one thing left to do. Face me in one final showdown. Dude, why were you hanging out with kids though? If you're the big boss, like, could you not? I was kind of hoping that the, the big boss would be Penny, just for memes. Well, oh, level 60 Pokemon. Oh dear. Uh, okay. Well, we'll make it work. Make it work. Peaked in Pokemon again. <laughs> he just wants to like relive his glory days in high school. Oh, the voice belongs to someone else who's in the- oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay. So someone else was on the phone. Is it Nimona? Is it bloody Nimona? Uh, a bomber snow switch. Obama. Get wrecked, director. The director. Get it? Get it? 
fired. Uh, Gyarados. Oh no, where's my Pommy? Wait, hold on. Gary doesn't keep water, does it? Yes, it does. I'm having a stroke. Um. Yeah. Okay. Don't be intimidated, Sprig. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Sweet. Palty Geist. Oh, I'll probably just stay in. Some tea with the professor. Oh no. Oh no. That's gonna hurt. How dare you sizzle me? Dude, getting some wicked XP here though. It's pretty good. Amongus Skelly. Dang. Feeling very deceived. Double, double deceived. I think we got two more. Okay. Just chipping our way through. Uh, what should we do after this? After we kick the um, director in the teeth? What are we vibing? Definitely can't start the Elite Four today. I won't have time to get into that. We can probably do that tomorrow though. Get into the Elite Four. Um, we kind of like call it there sort of thing. We'll like wrap this story. It's more to the story. Oh. How, if we're talking like hours wise, how much more do we think for the Team Star story? Uh, he's gonna send out Skelly. Yes, swap to the Claude. One more fight, okay. Uh, shiny hunting in this game, so you can get wild stuff. You can get like do, um, uh, I think Philly Beats has got a video up on like the picnic reset method for outbreaks, which is pretty effective by the looks of it. Um, you can make sandwiches to increase your shiny odds. Have I finished all the classes? No, I haven't. Not hours ago. Okay. Ay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get earthquaked. No. Oh. It's quite strong. Poor Claude thinks gonna go down here. Yeah. Ouch. Claude, no! Um. Hmm. Skelly on Skelly?
I have to go for some skill on skill. Otherwise, maybe Sprig would be faster. That was insane. Hey, poker player, cheers for the sub. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. We are. Come on, hit him back. Hit him back, skill. Not enough. Hit him a bit harder. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Uh, yep. <laughs> He's become my absolute best friend. What are you doing? Leave me alone, Clavel. Oi, uh, good god, the scale, man. Okay, we're gonna have issues. I'm gonna need to probably revive the Clod. Clod needs to come back. And then pray for Mojo. Do I have any max revives now? Nope. Sick. Damn, it was going so well. It was going so well. Yeah, doing good, doing good. How about yourself? Oh, poor Doe got beamed. Ay, ay, ay. Goodness gracious. Okay. So here's the issue. I could use the full, like the max potion on the clod, but it could still... Actually, hold on. I'm gonna do... I'm gonna go... That's gonna be not very effective, but do we... Do I... Do I go for a hammer or a more brutal swing? Go for a swing and hope that I'm faster. And then use... Sprig's last remaining health to heal up Claude. Maybe. Oh, it does nothing. <laughs> Literally nothing. Okay, that was a uh, Ripperoni. Alright. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, love that for me. Ooh. Yo, cheers to the gift sub to Big Snorlax. Thank you, thank you, dude. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's see if we can do this bag. Because if he uses Earth Power on Claude, that's still going to be like GG. Ripperoni. Okay, guys. Claude, 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 Claude. You can do this, my guy. It's fire, you can resist it. Oh, yeah. Hiya. Dang. Got so close. Dude, he got boosted out of control. He was hella boosted. We were doing so good. Well, we know the plot twist for now, I guess. 